All right. So this is week two of the heart. More coming at you. Um, we're going to incorporate things we learned from last week. Obviously, heart anatomy, both the valves, chambers, all that stuff, as well as the muscle tissue. So what happens electrically to transmit signals and have contraction occur in like the whole ventricle, both ventricles at the same time. So this week will be a lot of bringing things together, pressure, volumes, valves opening, closing, blood flow, EKG, um, all that stuff with the, the cardiac cycle um, over and over again. And that gets kind of complicated. Then we will talk about things that can affect cardiac output. So um, preload and afterload, kind of the stretch on the heart, and then regulation of heart rate, of a cardiac output put. So both heart rate and stroke volume. So the strength of contraction, um, strength of contraction and number of contractions in a time period, both can be regulated by, guess what? The autonomic nervous system. So we've got parasympathetic, sympathetic, um, both stimulating the heart directly, as well as releasing norepinephrine and epinephrine into the bloodstream to have the same effects that that direct innervation has. Then parasympathetic opposite effects on the heart. Um, so fun stuff. Okay, um, we're gonna do a learning check in this video and then we'll get started on the content in the next video. This learning check is a little bit of like thinking ahead. So A is, you should be able to answer from the previous videos. B and C, it's kind of preview of thinking about what can you tell me about this? This is gonna be important for looking at blood flow through the heart in the cardiac cycle coming up next.